Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Janice. And we're happy that you stopped by. She's wanting to say hello. <laughs> say hi Hazel. Say. Alright. If you're new here, hi. I hope you decide to subscribe and that you like my video. And those who've been here before, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to right down there. But that helps me out a lot. Also, hit that bell so that you will get notifications when my next video is out. Also, it has a drop-down menu. And it asks you if you want to be notified all the time, some of the time. And I would really appreciate you put all the time because I'm a small YouTuber, very small, as you can tell by my numbers. And it really helps to get my video out there in YouTube land. It helps me out, it helps me grow. And also, let's see, oh yeah, like this video? Well, you don't know if you like it yet, so watch to see if you do. Well, let's get comfortable here. We are going to do an unboxing, and it's my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. It is for the month of November 2019. And if you want to know what I received in this month's box, they're all a little different. Please stay tuned. <laughs> up a little bit last month they changed packaging on all the boxes changed some prices but here is the glam bag plus packaging it's the second month and it's really cute I love pink so it's fine with me and inside it changes saying it says discover yourself and on the back it says to you from me Little touches like that. They're cute. Now this particular subscription is $25 a month. You get five full-size products every month and they vary. You do fill out a beauty quiz telling them what you like and don't like. And ask you for your colors. My babies are playing down there. <laughs> they can get a little rough. But they do ask what colors you like. So, they get it pretty good with me for most times. Sometimes not so much, but you do have a review section you fill out at the, um, well, it's in there after they send it to you, they ask you to review it. And I, I always do because you get points. You, I think it's 15 points each review. And then those points accumulate you can turn them in for free products. So it's a pretty good deal. This one is $25 a month Okay, for the Glam Bag Plus. They have another one which I do subscribe to. It's smaller and that's called Ipsy Glam Bag. Now that used to be $10 a month but as of October it went up to 12 They have started asking us to choose a product and they give us a choice of one or the other I believe it's only been the second month I've done this I can't remember it all yeah my memory's getting bad but anyways my point is you get to choose a product in each of these subscriptions so in the Ipsy glam bag you get five trial size and a small makeup bag it's just a little smaller than this it looks a lot like this one this one is a cheetah print it's really cute. It has a tassel. It is like a vinyl. And then there's like a satiny material. So it's it's nice. It's nice and sturdy. I like it. And I like that that's a little bigger. It's not huge, but it's a little bigger and I get more things in it. 
Okay, they give you a card and um, they have a theme every month. And this month is the wild side. This month, dare to step into uncharted territory. Electric lipsticks, passion projects, and far-flung destinations. By leaning into the unknown, you might just find the most authentic version of yourself. A little saying. And on the inside, it tells you the products you received. And on the inside, they give you the manufacturer's suggested retail price of each product you receive. They only do this on the Glam Bag Plus as of yet. Now they do have another one and it's called the Glam Bag Ultimate. Oh that one's 25. Did I mention that? Anyway the Gold, the Grant, nah. Hmm, can't talk today. The Glam Bag Ultimate is $50 a month. Now you do have an option, I believe, with all these subscriptions if you decide to sign up for one, two, or all three, to skip a month. So that's nice. The ultimate is $50 a month and you get eight full-size products and four trial size. And they also include a larger bag. Now, if I can find a picture, I'll put a screenshot of it. But uh, it's a lot bigger than this. So that's nice. Now last month they didn't give us that. Because I did get it last month. They gave us the same size as the other bag. But it was alright. I gave it away for a birthday present. Okay, on with the unboxing. They did do a collab this month with Gigi Gorgeous. She is a influencer and I've never heard of her before so I saw pictures of her they show us pictures and she's a very very beautiful girl I guess she's quite popular for the young ones this does come nicely packaged and here is the product this is a bronzer now this is the one I chose for this month and inside, they have two different colors of bronzers. Darker, whoops, that's a lighter. <laughs> a dark, a lighter and a darker. And I'll swatch them, but they're not real heavily pigmented. So I hope this holds, shows up, my lights are kind of bright. I never know if it's gonna show up until I go to editing. To me, I'm, I'm not seeing it very well. But that's okay with me. I don't like to have powders really heav heavily pigmented. I like to be able to build them up. So, let's see. Okay, it shows on my face. I usually don't use my fingers, but I didn't grab any brushes. So, it, you know, hand swatches aren't accurate at all. Gigi Gorgeous, the sick Sculpt Bronzer Duo and Turrent and Extra. Turrent? I guess I'm saying that right. Name for the YouTube personality. Hmm. Author and activist Gigi Gorgeous is a limited edition and Ipsy exclusive. It's a collection of the essentials to get you glowing on your own terms. These versatile shades can be worn alone or layered for a bespoken bronzing effect. So this is a collaboration with Ipsy. Now last month they did a collaboration with Betty Boop and a month before that um, I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay the bronzer for Gigi Gorgeous the manufacturing retail suggested price on that one is $24. And the next item, I got a product from Trustique. 
and it's really cute it's an all over starlighter powder stick in ultraviolet and the value of this is $18 this is quite neat I like it isn't that cute here you go <laughs> it's so cute a little stubby pencil and you unscrew it it's got some embossing on it you probably won't be able to see it because of the lights but there's stars all over it and it's ultraviolet all right let's see yeah oh it's pretty really really pretty and I would definitely use this as a highlighter. It's a little out there, but I love it, so I'm going to use it. I'll figure a way to use this. Let's see. Maybe. Okay. Oh. From what I can tell, it's, it's, it's quite subtle. I guess the more I put on, the more bling bling would be but I don't put on a whole lot of highlighter just a little bit just to make me look like I'm alive still okay and the next thing we got a lipstick I've never heard of this brand at all it's by okay I cannot pronounce it Bell in Argent okay <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. I butchered that. But this is in, it's a cream lipstick and smoking screen. Well, hello there. Just gotta say hi too. You see lipstick? Okay. And its value is, what is the value? Mama can't see it. The value of this is $26. I don't buy lipsticks for that much money. It's not in this girl's budget. But it's nice that I got it. I dropped it. It's beautiful. Beautiful packaging. Be nice to sit on my vanity for decoration. And it is a very deep bright color. It's a deep berry. Yeah, so you find room here. Put it in the back of my hand. It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. I like wearing these colors. I just have to remember to wash my teeth because these dark colors get on my teeth. And that can be very embarrassing. Very. You know how many times I scrapped a video because I had lipstick on my teeth? We think this might be the most perfect fall lipstick ever. It's a cruelty free and vegan brand. It's a deep berry shade mm -hmm. with a blue red undertones. Oh, I like the blue reds. It's a cool. And it's infused with argon and jojoba oils to nourish and protect while coating your lips in a creamy color. That's nice. This item I'm really ex excited about. This is by Siate London. It is a Courtney Act stamp and drag liner. If you struggle with your cat eye, and fine glass, if you struggle with your cat eye, this double-ended eyeliner created by Siate London in collaboration with the drag diva sensation Courtney Act oh, is for you. One side is foolproof wing stamp and while the other is a precisely pointed felt tip. How cool is that? I'm so excited to try this. I just couldn't wait to go ahead and open this box so I can play with this. And I'll let you know how I like it and if it works. 
very, very beautiful. And let's open her up. I mean, eyeliner. Usually I don't get excited about eyeliners, but I'm excited about this. Okay. This is pretty good. I haven't opened it yet. There it is. Oh, cute. Look at that. They got little wings. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Let's see what the retail price of this is. Or the value. $19. That's not too bad. It's pretty good. Alright, this opened us up. I I love the silver tube. It says stamp and drag. Okay. Oh, there is the stamp side. There you go. That's cool. That's really cool. I'm gonna have fun with this. And then here is the felt tip side. And go ahead. Ooh, goes on nice and smooth and easy. I usually don't like felt tips, but I don't. I don't hate them. But this is nice. And one more item. This is by Ilamasca. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's a Hydra Vel Primer. The ultimate time saver, Hydra Vel is both a hydrator and a primer. Instantly moisturizes, smoothing your skin in one simple step. The futuristic clear gel formula absorbs quick, so it is the perfect step before foundation application. Now I have one other gel. I got it from Wet n Wild. And I like it. It's, it's kind of fun. I like it. Works fine. But this is beautiful. Look, look at the box. I just enjoy nice packaging. This is pretty. It's a nice black jar. And let's open her up. Oh, cute. It's got a little spoon here. And let's see here. How does this open? Oh, okay. Just like that. And that is a jelly. Okay. There's some gel up here. It's just a clear gel. I don't know why I'm trying to show it to you, but I am. Of course, I put it on the bronzer. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's nice. It feels nice. Let's see what it dries down to. Okay. Let's see how much this little gal is. If I haven't told you already. I can't remember what I tell you, what I don't tell you. I won't know until I re when I edit this. No, I didn't tell you because I would have remembered this. $45? Wow. That's special. I mean, I, just because it's expensive, but if it works well, I feel bougie. This scale can't afford bougie products. This is why I like subscription boxes. Every now and then I get one. Yep. $45. All right. Let's do a tally. Are you back to visit? I know. <laughs> Mom is ignoring her today because I've been getting ready for this video. And this is probably the third time I've tried to record it. <sighs> I just can't seem to get in the groove today. I don't know why. So I hope this turns out okay. I don't know. It's one of those days. Okay. I'll tally this up and I'll be right back. Okay. $132 value, which I paid $25 for. Now, it doesn't have a value for the bag, so I'm going to throw in another, oh, I'll be generous and say $10. So, that's a pretty good value. As far as this one with my boxy charm, as far as value goes, 
this one with a little less in value. But you know, it's like comparing apples to oranges. It varies every month. And final thing I want to say in this video, just real briefly, I probably won't do a review unless you really want me to, but I do have Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette that I bought. And I've been playing around with it. I actually have it on today. See it? Alright. I wasn't going to get it because it's not really the colors I wear. But I decided to get it. It's a nice big mirror. <laughs> I don't want to blind you there. I don't know why people say that because it doesn't bother me when people do that. I don't know, but I thought I'd be polite and tell you I'm sorry. There is these shadows, just in case someone out there hasn't seen it. And she did number these different. Oh, this is volume, this is textures volume one. So we've got memory, which are mostly blacks, grays. We have ritual. Here's it wasn't gonna. Here I said I wasn't gonna review. I'm not. I'm just showing it to you. <laughs> oh yeah, story. Mm. Soothe. Ara. And poet. This is a really neutral, warm tone palette for me, and I tend to enjoy cool tones better. And little pops of bright color. But I'm enjoying this. I've worn this, oh, probably four different times. This row here is the glitter row, all the way down here. This is the metallic row. The next one is the sequence row, and then we have the matte. The reason why I decided to go ahead and get this, because she was saying in her review of it, our explanation of it, that the metallics were quite friendly with the more mature eye that it would like seek into your texture on your eyes so I thought hmm I love metallic love metallic but I do find when I wear it it really exaggerates my aging skin so I like it I really like it well so I really have to say about that right now. Oh, I know I was gonna tell you what I wore. I don't usually wear oranges, but I did today. I wore the story part here, and a little bit of the soothe, and a little bit of the eyeliner of the blacks, which is a memory. So, I don't know, do you think the oranges look okay on me? I call them orange. Brick. Yeah, they're orange. It's a warm. I have a neutral undertone, so I, I suppose I can wear any, any tone, cools and warms. I just tend to gravitate towards cools. All right, again, I wanna remind you to please subscribe smash that bell for notifications also I hope you like this video and give me a thumbs up like it and also comment and of course I want you to share so I can grow this would really really help me out a lot even the likes gets out in the algorithm gets out in the algorithm like that word you know, the little interactive people are interacting with my video a little bit, or hopefully a lot, sometime soon, and it gets me out there so I can grow. This is a hobby, but it would be nice to get monetized eventually so I can make a little bit of money to help me pay for some of these subscriptions or just pay for my time because this is a lot of work work even though I enjoy it I spend a lot of time doing these videos not only in filming 
getting ready for it, planning for it, and editing. Editing is my favorite part. I love the editing part. <laughs> so if you see some crazy editing, I'm just experimenting. It's fun. All right, enough about all that. I will see you in my next video. Bye.